Are we live on Facebook? There we go. Yeah, I'm live. Well, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to the. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, good e evening, everyone. Welcome to the sixth and final meeting for the 2020 Census Ward 8 Redistricting Committee. Uh, and we will have a pretty short meeting this evening. We're going to have a discussion of what we determined as our final map. We did vote on a final map that uh, required uh any tweaks to that be submitted by last wednesday um and we did get a few edits i, I think you'll find in, incorporated in the final map i'll show that on screen here in a bit but um i think we we are quite successful in our overall endeavor in in meeting a deliverable of a thoughtful um and legal and according to the office of planning uh vetted map successfully vetted map uh, and that's a development from our last meeting and that the office of planning did do a review of our the, the map we voted on last meeting and I, um, their feedback was very positive in terms of meeting all of the goals of uh, not being contiguous in terms of boundaries keeping neighborhood character not going um, beyond the established population uh, ideal and variances um as noted throughout this process so um i i think we've all done very well but um i guess that's just my thought on what's about to happen during this meeting but i'd like to open up the floor to the council member to provide his thoughts on where we are and um great great please. well um shoot let me just thank the task force uh, for working consistently on creating a space where residents uh, are able to offer thoughts and recommendations uh, for new water for our boundaries. I think this is historic. Um, I especially want to thank you, Commissioner Thompson, for your leadership, um, for your thoughtfulness, and just your diligence in fostering so many different communities, uh, personalities, uh, philosophies. That's not easy. Um, and I want to thank our current uh, Ward 8 residents and our new Ward 8 residents for giving their input, even godly, you know, for adding this expertise. Um, I understand that subcommittee was impressed with the map. Um, I went through the emails and saw different recommendations from last week. I think we set the bar for other wards. Um, so I just want to say congratulations. Um, I will turn the meeting back over to you. Um, Commissioner Thompson, I want to again thank all my residents, even those who are not residents, who chimed in, added value, had different th thoughts to get help us get to the finish line. And I look forward um, to becoming one ward um, in one city. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, um, the way this meeting is going to go, I went through the effort of amending our, our, our living agenda to just iterate that this is a final meeting. We selected a map that, um, like I said, we received a few tweaks on uh, through last Wednesday, close of business last Wednesday. You'll see that reflected in the map being submitted um, to, to the Council of the Whole. And uh, a few minutes ago, so about 30 minutes ago, I sent out the draft report. Um, that report is due on Friday. And uh, as such, I've requested that any edits not to include sections five and six be uh, submitted or any suggestions be submitted to the uh, redistricting inbox by noon tomorrow. Thursday, March 31st, 2022. Um, so we'll run through both the well, That's not enough time. That's the deadline, uh, Commissioner Muhammad. Uh, so we'll run through- I mean, you just sent it out 30 minutes ago, um, Chair Thompson. That's just not enough time. Okay. Thank you for your comment. Um, so we're going to run through that uh, draft report. The reason why sections five and six were not to be um, 
review commented on them. They haven't been edited yet. And the reason being here is we're going to go over um, section five. Uh, the main aspect of that is population balancing. And I'm going to point out the SMDs in the final map where those deviations are just to sort of uh, aid everyone in uh, you know, providing any thought thoughts on that by noon tomorrow. Um, also, I think um, section six is about basically what we're doing now. What was our process? When did we vote? Well, we voted during the last meeting. Right now, um, I think we will go through, uh, I guess, a perfunctory effort to vote one last time on this final map. And um, then we will go ahead and, uh, and this isn't a vote on, I'm sorry, this isn't a vote. There's no nothing to vote on. We'll just present the map. Uh, since there aren't too many of us here, we can all provide any feedback, discussion, comments for Facebook Live, just for posterity in this discussion. And um, that will conclude our meeting. With that, uh, any questions? Any questions from committee members? So, good evening, Chair Tom. How are you? Good evening, Sheila. Good. Um, so you're going to pull up the map so we can just kind of walk through the amendments that were made to what we voted on from last time? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else with thoughts or comments? Oh, and let me, before I forget, uh, don't let me forget this while we're going through the maps. Uh, I was about to call you commissioner or chair Presswood, but Troy um, did come up with a breakdown of the Ward 8 notch, which is not something that we can do in the Esri tool, but we needed to understand what that breakdown was. So I will uh, pull up an illustration of how that, that will look um, as we submit it as part of our creating uh, or including the notch in the Ward uh, in the, uh, I guess that's a &C, that's going to be ANC 8A um, per the map. So without further ado, let me move forward with pulling that up. Wanda, do I, I have screen sharing ability already? Yes, I just gave you co-host, so you should have the ability to share your screen. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, share. All right. Can everyone see my screen? See the map? Anyone that can't see the see my see my screen or see the map in Esri? All right. Uh, so zooming out here, the big difference in the changes um, that were made is just uh, you know graphically to better see what the ANCs would be. Uh, we changed, we, we matched all of the colors to roughly match up with, uh, you'll see a, a, ANC 8A shown in green for the most part, ANC 8B here in various shades of purple, 8C in various shades of blue, 8D in various shades of red, and 8E in various shades of gray down towards the bottom. Um, now going into the feedback that we got um, that was suggested by the uh, by the deadline at COB last Wednesday. Uh, let's see. We we were asked. It was suggested that we realign ANC eight D to reflect ten SMDs. ANC eight B which, let me zoom back out here, now has eight SMDs. ANC 8E has eight SMDs. ANC 8C has nine SMDs. And ANC 8A has nine. So that's a nine, nine, eight, eight, ten 10 SMD breakdown keeping the same number of ANCs 
uh, as we have now for the next 10 years. Uh, moving forward, uh, let's see, I think it was suggested that ANC 8D, um, I guess down, no, I'm sorry, ANC 80 and Bellevue be made to look a bit more continuous, contiguous. And I believe we, we did that um, here. And Sheila, just, I see you got your hand up. I was about to ask you, uh, do you see reflected here what you and Maggie and uh, I believe the constituent's name was Dion? Yeah, former Sorry. Commissioner Dion Brown. Okay. Do you do you see that? Is there are there any questions? Um, and I did discuss this offline with Maggie and her having sent me that feedback, and I'm sure you saw the CCs, et cetera. But any questions? Do you see the feedback that uh, you all you all discussed? Um, I'm, that's what I was trying to see. Can you scroll up a little bit? No, no. I'm sorry. Down. I should say down. Down to eight E. Okay, stop. Ooh, slow, slow down. Stop right there. I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm looking at my notes. Here's eight E ten. So eight E O one. While you're looking, I want to point out to everyone one of the changes from the map we discussed last time that was part of this feedback um, was moving the bottom. The district, the, the SMD that includes the bottom portion of Bowling Air Force Base, which you'll see is 8008, in uh, make taking that out of 8B and putting it in 8E. And the thought there is, although geographically it's a large SMD, the vast majority of the population is east of 295, if you can see my cursor here, and east of 295, if you can see it here. Uh, that being said, even though this is, you know, federal land, Bowling Air Force Base, etc., most of the population of Bowling is up here where we, uh, where 8B07 and 8B08 remain in ANC 8B. This 1851 population, the vast majority, I would say all of it is uh, east of 295. And so it did make more sense to break that, um, bottom portion of bowling out and separate it and put it in into uh anc 80 and that's the, that's in the spirit of uh the suggestions and keeping neighbor neighborhoods continuous contiguous because this census tract is just on both sides of 295 and you don't really see that elsewhere um in ward eight so brian so in looking at my notes i don't see all of the suggestions that we made here, like particularly looking at 8B08 and- um, Bravo or Delta? I didn't, I can't. I'm sorry, 8, um, 8B as in Bravo, 08. Okay. Um, as well as, where's 8B09? So I'll start with 8B08. So Maggie and I had discussed making 8B08 08, an additional single number district in 8E, because if you look at this portion over here, Bellevue is split from what's here. Bellevue is split between E, B, and it looks like parts of D. And when Maggie and I talked, the changes that we um, had suggested were that 8B08 become 8E11. So we were increasing the number of SMDs within 8E. I'm just trying to follow my notes. So 8B08 would have become 8E11. 8B09 would have become 8E12. I don't, I can't see where 8B09 is because I just can't see on the There, map. There isn't an 8B09 on this map. Okay, previously, okay, well, what we looked at prior to whatever these changes are, there was an 8B09, which we made 8E12, so that Bellevue would be wholly contained in one 
A and C versus being split between, it looks like three different A and C's. So we if had a, I'm sorry. If, if I understand you correctly, I think the, your notes couldn't be reflected visually because you can't make the changes, which what the recommendations were, was not to have 12 SMDs in a E, but to write it out, it looks like there are less that we didn't didn't follow that. But when I when I discussed it with Maggie, um, and I sent the email because it didn't make sense, and then she she and I discussed it, and all of those recommendations are included because 12 SMDs is what it looks like on paper. But when you take two out to move them into 8D, I think that would have been what is now 8D10 and 8D04. You had to re increase. You had to drop that that. You had to drop, you had to use the number 12, but by taking two 80s out and adding them back to 8D, you lost to it, the net effect. Right. It is right. No, no. Illustrated. Yeah, you're right in terms of the net effect. I, I but I don't see it reflected in the in the letters. So so if you look at 8E08 and 8 and 8B08. 8B08 should be an 8E um, SMD. That should have been changed. That's Those were the recommendations that Maggie and I made. 8B08 should not have been an 8B because the concern was, again, you have 8B dropping all the way down into Bellevue territory. And 8B is at the very upper end of the ward but you have it coming all the way down into the Southern portion of the ward. And again, splitting Bellevue between 8E, 8D, and it looks like a, a portion of 8D as well. So I get what you're saying about the, the numbers of the SMB. So we did subtract and add from others, but it just doesn't look like it's reflected in the actual SMB because 8 8 is still there versus it being an 8E SMD as well as 8E. I'm, I'm tracking now. I'm tracking. And Maggie and I did discuss that. The reason why 8B08 is still reflected in 8B is because 8B08, all of it, as reflected here, is on Bowling Air Force Base. All the population, all the residents are on Bowling Air Force Base. So in, in, in the spirit of maintaining neighborhood continuity, we couldn't separate 8B07 and 8B08. And because Bowling Air Force Bait, just because of the, the security, the gates, the walls, and the freeway between what's reflected as 8D and 8E, otherwise, i.e. the areas shown in red and gray here, they had to remain together and then they had to be added to one of the other ANCs, either 8D or 8B. The reason why it was added to 8B was because with the recommendations you guys made, 8D already has 10 SMDs. That being said, um, it's, it's for population, neighborhood continuity. Maggie and I discussed that and it was like, yeah, um, we, we, we couldn't do that to our military families down on bowling, splitting them, splitting the base into two different ANCs. We had to keep what's shown here is 08, 8B07 and 8B08 together. And in that vein, it made sense to go ahead and add it back. Even though it's not pretty, I can definitely point to other parts of our, our, our uh, redistricting effort across the city that aren't, aren't pretty, but it makes sense for maintaining the aims of keeping neighborhoods together. And, and, I, and I understand that, but in the same vein, Bellevue is now split up. Why even put bowling into B? You hear what I'm saying? Why even throw it into B when it was already contained in E? So I get what you're saying that you gotta keep B and seven together. Then that could very well be eight E, whatever, the last, I mean, these still could be two AE commissions and you shift, you get what I'm saying? They could still be AE commissions and, and, and keep them contiguous, 
my my concern is that they are 8D. You have 8D all the way at the upper portion of the ward. Now they're extending all the way down to the southern part of the ward, which was is all which is Bellevue. So you're not you're keeping the base together, but you're splitting Bellevue. So you're, you're still you're still splitting community. Uh no, everything that's 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 Bellevue. Everything that's Bellevue is in AD here. No, it's not. At the base, that's Bellevue. That's, that's now in B. We're, okay, how about this? Neighborhoods are not defined primarily by name. They're defined primarily by residents and where they are. These residents are not living in a common area akin to what the rest of 8E is. This what, like I said, it's not perfect. But after having that discussion and knowing that Maggie got you and Dion's feedback, we, we came to that resolution and we did that via email traffic as well as a phone call for full transparency. Right, but, but myself, I can't speak for Dion. I wasn't included on that phone call. So I, I can't speak to that. I wasn't on the phone call. Um, so this is my first time seeing this or um, and you say that communities are defined by residences, but I disagree in that the base has been a part of Bellevue for the past 10 years. So they're defined by the Bellevue community. And now they're being separated into, again, they're, you know, Bellevue is being split between three A and C commissions. So depending on where you now live in Bellevue, you have three different ANCs that you'll be dealing with versus one ANC. I hear that. Um, I'll just say that Bowling Air Force Base is not in Bellevue. Bowling Air Force Base is in on Bowling Air Force Base. I got a question. But Bowling Air Force Base has been a part of Bellevue for the last 10 years. I've lived in Bellevue since 1980. So to say that Bowling Air Force Base is not in Bellevue, where are they then? So I got a question. Sheila, what streets or areas are you referring to that's not in a particular A and C that's in Bellevue? I'll zoom say in that, here. A say bit. that one more time, council member. Uh, you said, I thought I heard you saying that some areas that were Bellevue are left out of being in a ver Bellevue A and C. Which, which area right. are you talking about? So I'm so if you look on the map where it says 8B07, the base, all of that prior to the changes of the map map, all of that was considered Bellevue. Everything that you see as in 8E, 8B08, 8B07, that was all A and C 8D. That was all under one commission. Versus now you have us under three different commissions. Are they all in this? Are they all in 8B? No. So right now we're in 8E, we're in 8B, and a little part of us is in 8B. But these are the these are the recommendations, and because my, you know, Maggie and I spoke about it, and like I said, we also had email tra traffic about it. All of the changes except this one were made. And the justification for not making this change, this, this particular change, is because Bowling Air Force Base is its own community. You keep saying that Bowling is its own community, but for the past 10 years, it's been covered by 8D, by one commission in Bellevue. But that, that was because that's what the last task force came up with. That's not what that's we're not deciding right. here. That's why we do this every 10 years. Sheila, can I, can, can I ask you, Sheila, what... What was it 20 years ago? Um, how was it split? I, I, I don't remember 20 years ago, David. That's taking it way back too far for me. I don't, I don't know, honestly. I, I just know in recent times, I don't, I don't know. And again, I, yeah, I understand that every task force does something differently. I guess what I'm not understanding is why to pull the base from the community that it was associated with prior to and making it a part of another commission. That's, that's, I guess that's my question. I understand that things change, 
But the question is, why this change in moving it to a different um, A and C altogether, which is putting it with another community? I mean, I think we've answered the question per per the discussion, per the emails that we exchanged when those recommendations were forwarded prior to last week's deadline. I don't I don't know how else to, to state it differently. Um, I responded to the email when those changes came in to get clarity. Um, I believe, you know, fair enough. Maggie throat uh, spoke for the group who produce these changes and I needed clarification in order to get to this point. And so she and I did a call because she sent the email with all of those changes. I think that's fair. Well, I, I have my questions because I wasn't included on that phone call. So that's, that's as clear as I can be is that you and Maggie had a conversation Maggie and I had a conversation. We made recommendations. She forwarded those. And then after that, the two of you had a phone call about it. I wasn't included, so I'm not privy to that. Hence why I have these questions and concerns. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and I think by that, you, you're looking for the rationale. And I think I've, I've stated that. Um, that being said, um, all of the other, like I said, all of the other changes, I believe you can affirm or uh, illustrate it here on the map. Um, Mr. Also, Jim, I have one last question. All right. Are there, are there other, and, and I don't know if you have um, this information, but how many other communities are split between three ANCs? Across I mean, I, there's no communities here that are split between three A and C's other than where the recommendations were made that those splits be made. If you're calling 8D04 Bellevue and 8D09 and 8D10 Bellevue and saying they're split from 8E, those were part of the recommendations that were forwarded. Is it written not on by Maggie, Not by Maggie and I. Uh, we can take know, this I offline. I can forward you. We, we we did all of this by email. We have receipts, so we can take this offline. Um, that's not the that that the point of this discussion is to say that that feedback was implemented into this final product. The philosophy behind it we can discuss offline. Uh, I'm not even in DC right now. I'm in Colorado, so. <laughs> um, I got a question quick. So is the base um, in another SMD in itself, the whole thing? It's in two. It's the base is broken up in the three SMDs. The top two, the northern two most are part of ANC 8B. So let me ask you this. Outside of the base, let's not talk about the base at the moment. Is the rest of Bellevue still in one single member district? Yes, except for where we got feedback to split it with 8D. Feedback where? Where is it on where is it on the map? What streets are there? Uh, let me zoom in here. In our prior iteration of the map, 8D10, 8D04, uh, I believe they were included in 8D. The feedback we got ask that they be included in a 10 member because uh, in the last map, I believe A and C 8D was either eight or nine SMDs. Now it has 10 SMDs and they are reflected. AD04 is, has been added to 8D and 8D10. Oh, um, places. I see 8D09, is that what you're, that's in Washington Highland, that's not Bellevue. Well, no, that's yeah, I mean, frankly, I don't think this is a split of three <laughs> across three ANCs, but um, my point is, is that this is the feedback that was requested. So and I'm just, gotta, just trying to get clarity real quick. So outside of the base, what other areas of Bellevue other, uh, is split between eight what? What are the two and where are they located? Because I don't, I can't see it. When I'm zooming in, I'm looking, I see... 8D, 
That's not in what that's not you can zoom out. That's Washington Highland right there. I, I agree. So which part of Bellevue is in another? So if you look at AD10, part that there's a portion there that that is in there's a portion of Bellevue that is in AD10. Hold on, let me see. AD10. Oh, hold on one second. That, you can see my cursor. That's that looks don't. like it's watched out Highland as well. That's HR that's, Drive. The little I'm not the the little corner portion down there. I I know that Dion I know that Dion Brown, former commissioner, sent um, information to um, the task force oh. with uh, the boundaries of what Bellevue looks like. So I don't I don't know if that was. Look so at she, that, that information has the boundaries. I don't, I'm not a boundaries person. I don't know. I'm looking at 8D10 and it mm -hmm. looks like southeast side and oh. not on the south. Side. I see Barnaby Street, which is on the southeast side by, I guess it's by First Street. I see Bellevue Street, which is on the other side of South Capitol Southeast. I'm not sure how mm -hmm. that's, how that's um, on the Bellevue side. So you see, see where it says Marjorie, that little portion down there. I'm not talking about the portion that's, that is up there by Washington Highland. And maybe okay. Dion Brown can help me out a little better. I'm not a, 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 a max boundaries person or whatever. That's Even yeah. HR Drive is also on the Southeast side. So I'm trying to also follow you, Sheila. Um, where are you with HR Drive? Right here. I can, I can, HR, is, that, is that you or one, I, who's moving the mouse? I am. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to show where it is so, so folks can. What is that? I can, that's HR Drive. And that's the, the southeast side. Right. And we are, but we have we have southeast sides in Bellevue as well. So I, I don't get the southeast side. Just like with Brandywine Street Southeast, that's, that's in Bellevue. On the other side yes, of South Capitol is Bellevue? Right here? I, oh, I'm moving yeah. my mouse like y'all can see my mouse. I'm sorry. I mean, Bellevue is shown as Bellevue. And honestly, yeah, growing up, I always thought that Bellevue was everything west of South Capitol Street. But that's not Bellevue, though, from what I'm saying. That's why that's all the way over there. By, by, um, that's not too far from Willow Road and Southern Ave, in between all that, by the church, by Temple of Praise. Right. Yeah, this is Wheeler Road where my cursor is now. Like, I don't think that's Bellevue <laughs> either. <laughs> but more so, th these are the recommendations to put the areas that are shown as 8D10 into 8D. These were part of the recommendations, the fine tuning that was forwarded. Recommendations from whom? You keep saying these are the recommendations. From, I can from, only Ma from you, Maggie, and Dion, and we got that via email. I mean, I don't think we need to pull up the email. Um, I wouldn't do that real, on... Brian, on real quick. I know we keep saying these are rec the recommendations. I'm just trying to get cl for clarity for Sheila and, and, and Dion. Um, I don't see this as being part of Bellevue. So I... So I Scratching AD out, what are the other two that we're talking about that split? That's not in the, that's not on the base. You said AD, what other one? I'm sorry, I was reading something. Say that one more time, council member. Um, I was trying to get clarity on what areas that Bellevue is split between three SMDs. And I, I, I'm scratching out AD because I don't see that as being Bellevue. That's all the way over there close to Olivia's house. Um, what other areas outside of AD that you see that's part of Bellevue? So it's it's so it is eight. Well, we have eight E, and then we have eight D, which is it, which is the base. Okay, so it's now it's really two, which is eight B and eight E. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me look at it. Let me try to find it. Okay, I see it right here. And eight, it looked like eight B is just the base itself from that purple. Yeah. So I mean, right, I, if on the base, that's an A and C. There's actually that again? 
Is there do we have an ANC commissioner from the base? My understanding is no, we don't have an individual commissioner, but the, the base was covered by it was included. All of the base was included in Commission 8B. So that was the representation. And I understand the rationale now for trying to, to make a single, uh, have a commissioner for, for each of those, because there's, there's new outreach to the base and, you know, maybe, you know, a, and a separate ANC commissioner will come out of it. But in the past, the entire base was covered by 8D. It wasn't split between, you know, two commissions. It was entirely covered. That whole, when you see the purple, the purple that's 8D, seven and eight, and the gray 8E, that was all covered by 8D. Yeah, was that was this because of population? Because I know it's single districts are based on approximately 2,000 people. And I'm not sure what the, what the big, I'm I'm not sure. I can't speak to what it was based on previously because I wasn't involved in the the process before. I just know it was covered by eight B. But again, former com ANC commissioner Dion Brown is in attendance. She can better answer those questions. She has her hand raised if you want to acknowledge her, but she can better answer those boundary questions. Cause she, you know, so I yes, but, but I don't know from the previous because I I just don't know. Okay. We can debate. We can debate this. Mr. Chairman, can you um bring in Miss uh, for Dion? She's had her hand raised. Um, I think she has a response to the boundary, and then we can probably move on the okay. agenda. Um, let me figure that out. Uh... So, if you hover over her name and attendee, you'll see a blue box, and it'll say "Give permission to talk." Right, but I, I can't seem to do that while sharing the screen. Um, I guess I could stop. Oh, let me see if I can, I can find her. I'll pull her up. Give me a second. Yeah, sharing the screen leaves visibility on a lot of stuff. Ms. Brown, you are able to speak now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Sheila, for your input and the council member is correct that 8D10, what is marked 8D10 is not Bellevue. Bellevue, and I put it in the um, chat earlier, but it didn't go to everybody, it only went to the panelists. Um, the boundaries of Bellevue are firmly established. The name of the neighborhood goes back to the late 1800s. So it's not just something people made up. And I wanna read from the, what I put there and I emailed this, it was in the testimony that I sent to the chair following the last meeting. The Bellevue neighborhood is far southwest portion of the city. It is bounded on the north and east by South Capitol Street, the Potomac River to the west, by First and Joliet Streets to the south. So pretty much, so Bellevue is everything in, far, in southwest east of the Potomac River. Bowling is wholly contained in Bellevue Bowling's housing, the residential area of, be be of Bowling is called Bellevue Housing. There's a large sign on Overlook Avenue that says just that. It's never been in dispute. It has wholly been contained in the same ANC with the civilian part of the Bellevue neighborhood um, during the last redistricting, the redistricting before that, as well as the one before that. That's about as far back as I go. Um, as mentioned at the last meeting, most of them aren't even registered to vote in DC, even though they they get counted in the census for residential purposes or population purposes, but um, voter registration is a mutually exclusive process. And so you're setting the conditions where you may have three vacant seats or you have seats, you're giving a lot of power to people who don't live in community or aren't registered to vote in our city. So that is a significant concern for me. Um, and also the fact that the neighborhood has been chopped up in a manner that it has never been chopped up before. And it diminishes a lot that we've been working toward 
in the 20 years that I've been here in this neighborhood. And, and again, that's, that's very concerning for me. Thank you. Um, I, I see you, okay. Any other comments? All right. Um, I am going to stop sharing this and pull up the second graphic, which is the Navy Yard notch, um, just so we can see how that is going to be presented in our final product. All right. Uh, and again, this is cur courtesy of uh, former Commissioner Presswood. Uh, as a matter of fact, Troy, if you'd like, would you like to speak to your thoughts that you sent via email or I can do it if? Yes, I, um, how you doing, Chairman? Uh, let me come on camera here. Yeah, I'm happy to talk a little bit about the notch. So I just wanna make sure that I also recognize uh, David Meadows, who also helped uh, us with the outreach to all of 6D, including the Ward 6 notch. Uh, and I think that's the other thing too, we should be very clear. Um, I actually did update this map, uh, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, as I've been tinkering with this map, uh, it seems like forever, um, with the labeling. So it's technically, it's technically a Ward 6, Ward 8. Um, I'm calling it Ward 6, Ward 8 or W8 slash W6 slash 8A09 and W six slash w eight a o eight yeah and i can show you on a different screen if you allow for me to share as well uh um, I, I can take this i can stop sharing uh let's see i'll give them access to okay okay, okay. zoom in on my map so folks can see it because i know it's so Troy, you should be able to share your screen now Okay, I'm trying. Okay. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Um, and share. Okay. So it's nothing really has changed, Mr. Chairman, other than the, the labeling here, because technically that area, the notch that we're calling it is not in Ward 8. It's in Ward 6. And so we have to acknowledge that it's a 6-8. Um, area there and so that we're bringing into 8a so that that's how 8a will obviously get to the to the nine smds that uh, you uh, have um, laid out there but the the two that we're pulling from are technically in ward six uh, as you as we all know um, council members white and allen have uh, both agreed in principle uh, that this would be a great idea uh, for a number for a host of reasons largely because the citizens there, while you know they're going to be in two different wards, their issues are very much centered uh, together and clustered together. Especially when you think about transportation-related issues uh, with traffic um, and all types of other things. And so, uh, in our outreach to uh, this area, uh, they were totally on board with it and uh, thought it was a great idea uh, that they be brought along. Um, uh, to the, the Ward 8 side. Uh, and I should go back and say that another thing in this notch, um, it does, it does uh, I think, uh, take into account that initially when we would talk to people well before we all started drawing our maps, uh, the folks over there would tell you, listen, take all of us, don't leave some of us. Like we don't want to be split up um, for reasons that you know you, we're seeing across the city how people are complaining about being split up. And so this compromise, I think, actually uh, addresses that as well as meet the needs that uh, the folks in that area have and also what we have on the 8A side. I'm sorry, the, uh, the Anacostia um, neighborhood side. So um, that's what I have uh, for now, Mr. Chairman. If there's anything else, I'm happy to share. But um, yeah, I just wanna say this is the map that we've come up with. It is a little bit out of, out of uh, boundary, um, eight, rather 68A09. And so um, I provided justification for that. Again, we're trying not to split up uh, census tracts. Uh, we're trying to uh, not create a cross, 
create a SMD that crosses both boundaries. We, we thought it was enough to do <laughs> to just do the two SMDs, uh, but if we were to try to even out the numbers, uh, we would have had to create some way a, um, a, a SMD that actually crossed both six and eight, which is even more of a challenge than just creating two SMDs and in a in six and bringing them into eight. So. Uh, this is uh, our efforts here. Uh, I did provide you the justifications uh, mm -hmm. for that, and I hope that that's going to be helpful as we prepare our report or finalize our report. Thank you. I got a question. First of all, it wasn't this part that came as a recommendation um, from uh, the committee from the council, Silverman, with this carve out with Ward 6 out of that whole right side of South Capitol? I heard the bulk of it, uh, council member, I didn't hear the very beginning. Okay, so when, when we got the map sent back to us from Silverman's office, I mm -hmm. remember extensive conversation, even before the knots saying that it was a piece that was carved out that was gonna remain in six that was on the west side, I'm sorry, on the east side of South Capitol Street. And I believe this is it. Can we confirm that this is the part they were talking about based on a few residents? Uh, yes, sir. I, I can confirm this is what this is the notch. This is um, this particular area there is located in Ward. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about before the notch. Before we even started having a conversation about the notch, there was mm -hmm. some conversation prior to all of this about one particular area they wanted still to be in Ward 6 that was, that fit the area of Ward 8 based on, I heard you, when you first started out, Troy, you were saying, you were saying they did not want to be split up. Right. Um, Is this so area? I, I believe so, council member. My understanding was that it was the folks in Ward 6 who, who didn't want to be split up from the new part of Ward 8. So I don't know if you can see my cursor. I think I'm still sharing my screen. So this is Ward 6, right? And right over on this side, all of this is Ward 8, including the area to the south of 6808 here. So all of this is Ward 8. So when in our conversations with folks, what they were saying was that, you know, if you if you only take one side of it, you're going to leave half of us here. And, you know, that would be a challenge to meet all of the you know, their needs around transportation and other things. And so uh, we ended up, as you know, the finalized map for the war, it took all of this, I say take, that's not a great way of putting it, but, you know, it, it added all of this and it left this notch out, which was odd from the very beginning. This, I think, um, but then when we had our conversations with the folks over in 6D who live in this area, and even through Gottlieb and through all of the conversations we've been having about the redistricting, the folks who represent this area and the residents who've come to be a part of those conversations are like, sure, that's fine. We're fine with being added to um, you know, the Ward 8 A and C as long as we have our distinct uh, SMDs, which this uh, I think achieves. So can we know how many SMDs are on that Ward 6 side? that are in 8A? Two, the two that are shown. Okay, so can you show the other part of 8A that you had up in the green? Yeah, 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 I, I can do that. Are you, is everyone good? Because Troy is sharing now. I'll go back to the, uh, the main map. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. So. So where's the notch in relation to this map? It's, you see my cursor? Let me zoom in for you as well. This is the notch that was just shown. If you can follow it closely, follow my cursor closely, actually right here on 8 I Street, cutting down on, what is this, 1st Street? and then over to K Street. Everything on top of where I just drew my cursor was the pink 
area or the blue area and everything on the bottom was the pink area of what was shown, just shown on the screen. So I can't, it's hard to see the streets. Uh, I can zoom in for you. So it, it's New Jersey Avenue and M Street. Right. So, where, so show me on the map where M Street is. Down at the yeah, top. Right so here. this is M Street. Yep. So 8A07 is on that side, it looks like. 8A06 is on that side, correct? 8A06 is on M both sides of M Street. What? It's The split is at 4th Street, which is a southbound street that runs pretty much from Union Market in one direction all the way to the river. So 8A06 is, is on both sides of M Street is what you're saying? Yes, 8A06 is in the middle of the screen right here. This is, a, this is bounded by the freeway at the top, 11th Street Bridge on the east, 4th Street, or I'm sorry, 4th, 3rd, 2nd Street on the west. Uh, and this is also drawn this way because we're looking at census tracts here. So mm -hmm. cutting down here, coming down to Tingy Street, which is the street in the middle of the uh, Navy Yard areas, sort of where... Um, I don't know, Vita Fitness and Blue Jacket and et cetera. Where your, where your cursor is now? Yeah, that's the middle so, of what we know I've come to call Navy Yard. So then that's that's the point I'm trying to make. So 8A04 is also on that side. What I'm trying to understand is... 8A04 is on both sides of the river. And the reason being is because of the census tract that it makes up, even though 8A04 is on both sides of the river. Most of this is the Navy Yard. Most of this space on the other side of the river is the actual real Navy Yard, federal land, basically a workplace. So there are not many residents here. So I guess my question is, why was 8A taken across the river like that versus that side of the river just being 8F and single member districts being uh, drawn um, drawn into that to that area. So on that, so in 8A, now you have already have four SMDs on that side of the river. And then you're talking about with this notch having two more SMDs, which imbalances the the ANC with this new drawing. Well, that's what we're doing. We're drawing- Actually, the balance out. is opposite, um, Commissioner. It is- You're um, imbalancing it based no, on- No, it, it's opposite because, because the, Navy, the Navy Yard it has three SMDs. And then we have two, we have three SMDs and two notches. Well, you're right. It is, you're right. And then it there's imbalances four- imbalances it based on the historical 8A is what I'm saying. I well, understand. So okay. We're not it's copying the old map. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're not copying the old map. I we know we're not copying map the old map. Basically. But one of the things that was said and was even said by um the councilwoman is that you don't want to draw maps to where the historical part of the community loses their voice. And from what I'm That's seeing. Not that, From what I'm seeing with this anywhere. 8A map, that's exactly what's happening. That is not, that's not written anywhere, the historical part. You're talking about minority voting I'm populations not losing a voice, part. and that's not happening here. Let me say what I'm trying to say. I'm talking about the original part of the 8A, the way this new map is drawing, the original parts of Fairlawn and Anacostia, are, it's imbalanced. They will not have their voice with the way this map is drawn. You got four SMDs on that side of the river, and then you're talking about adding two more with this notch. You have four full SMDs north of the river. You have four and a half SMDs, basically. All of the population in 8A04 is south of the river. 
So you have essentially you four whole AAO populated four SMEs. On both sides. I'm sorry? You said 8AO4 is on both sides and you can see it's on both sides. Yes, but the population that makes this an SMD, a viable SMD, all resides south of the river. The okay, census, so what sides on those other streets? Nothing? That Yeah, that's Nothing. the Navy Yard. It was 122 people in the Navy, in that section on the west side of the river. The part of 8AO4 is a, a bit over 100 people, Holly. <laughs> and then the other, yeah, so the commissioner is definitely coming. Well, I, but I and, understand and what you're I still saying, would like to ask, I still want to see what was the thinking around this. Why was 8A split across this river versus that new part of Ward 8 just being 8F and single member districts being drawn into 8F? So well, can, can you help me understand that? Uh, I. I will. I will write it up. That will be included in no, the No, I would like to just hear it. I mean, we're in the meeting. Can you just tell me what the thinking behind that was? This is a riverfront area. You have two populations, an old and a new Ward 8 population, isolating the, popu the new part of Ward 8 west of the river. Wouldn't do anything to integrate that group of people into the ward. The best way to do that is to balance Ward A and C 8A on both sides of the river. So you have commissioners, you have a population that knows what it's been like to be in Ward 8 to integrate the new residents in the Ward 8. Otherwise, how would that isolate them? Well, we're not going to debate this. This map was I'm, voted I'm not debating. I asked you a question. I'm not answering the question any further than I already have, ma'am. Well, okay. I, I would like to comment one more time because, and I understand what you're saying, um, Mr. Muhammad. I, I truly do. Um, and, and at first, even I thought that that we would be, um, well, basically, I thought that we would end up with four SMDs and then the two from Ward 6, which would make it six, and it could be its own uh, 8F. But it, that would be a commission, uh, a commission with six SMDs. But then the proposal was to connect it because we don't have the population. Unfortunately, in a year from now, we will have the population. Not only the Notch has a brand new building about to open with like 900 apartments. And, um, and there are three more buildings like are gonna open up within the year, which will add another 2,500 residents to this neighborhood. Um, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I think the the feeling is is to connect the ward and not to have. Um, well, the Navy Yard has its own SMD, uh, 8F, and we don't have anything to do with the Anacostia or the southwest part of uh, Ward 8. And that's not really what the commission was trying to do is separate. We were trying to come together. And that's why we drew the commission across the river, even though it does represent the historic Navy Yard base. You know, that's the base where the commandant lives and, and the, the admiral, I mean, and, um, and they have the war college and everything. But um, uh, there are 122 people that live there and they are um, technically DC residents, but I'm not sure how much they uh, partake in district affairs locally. Um, so we uh, joined across the river and so we are connected as a new ward. Well, from what I can see, it, it brings an imbalance um, to the I understand. There will be five of, commissioners. Part of, yeah. part of A that was yeah. originally there. And the reason I believe that is not fair is because everyone knows that that Anacostia Park and MLK mm -hmm. um, is to have much development. That there were two people living on um, Anacostia Park. Actually, it was four people, excuse me. But uh, I hear your points taken, but in order to balance the, I think in order to balance the SMDs with commissions of nine, 10, or, uh, you know, to keep those commissions the same size instead of creating 
a brand new uh, commission. Fair enough. All right. That said, that uh, that is the, the majority of the content we needed to cover. I'm about to share the, the draft report and the significance of it is largely um, the, the discussion we just had, inputting the narrative. And also we're gonna have to explain um, where we deviate from the population norms while we're doing that. And that's mainly for you know keeping in the spirit of the redistricting effort of keeping neighborhoods together, not splitting census tracts if we don't have to. There was no compelling reason to split census tracts during uh, this effort, and so we're gonna uh, we're, we're going to um, have a write up explaining all of that. But uh, you all should have received the report via email, you know, in the last hour or so. So I just want to go through and uh, point out the summary, um, and you know. Per our, our membership decided back in January, um, the task force members, the executive members are noted and listed uh, going down. I didn't realize it, but we actually had 40 uh, committee members, uh, though not everyone was able to engage simultaneously. Um, so those names are uh, listed in section two. Um, Section three is largely another narrative. Uh, so there's an executive summary in section one. Section three is largely an another narrative about how we executed our business. Um, section four is largely uh, a remnant of pre-COVID times where we would have had hard copy maps and met in person, though it uh, should be noted that it, after meeting four, we decided not we voted and uh, we ultimately decided not to hold any in-person meetings. So we're just stating that uh, the maps being presented uh, to the council of the whole are contained within ESRI. Uh, and the name for that map, just for everyone's um, reminding everyone, it's uh, the Ward 8 Redistricting Integrated Feedback Map in the uh, ESRI tool. Uh, the rationale, uh, that will be part of the narrative that will be submitted, forwarded. Um, and the reason I wanted to stop here, uh, actually here in section six, is to point out that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight SMDs in this Ward 8 map that deviate from the population parameters. 8805 is plus two, so 2102. 8004 is plus four, 2104. 8D03 is plus nine, 2109. 8006 is plus 61, so 2161. 8005 is plus 19, so 2119. 8L3 is minus one, so 1899. 8008 is minus 49, so 1851. And 8A09 is plus 109 at 2209. Um, as I stated, uh, any, any inputs, thoughts that need to be included in the narrative, I think we all, uh, you know, a picture's a thousand words and we've, we've looked at this uh, ESRI map in detail. So the narrative, the rationale uh, will largely speak to the fact that where there is a deviation, it's for the purposes of maintaining neighborhood continuity um, or, in an effort to not split a census tract like you might see in 8809 with that 109 uh, deviation above uh, the, the stated parameters. And moving on to sec section six, uh, basically this is a easy to read breakdown of how we arrived at this final map and uh, what this re report will end up being um, and so basically it's just a lot of fill in the blank as it looks like on screen. That being said, um, oh, and then there's section, section, section seven, because there isn't a word six, word eight portion of the ESRI tool, 
we're just taking the image of the split of the Navy Yard notch and using it as an attachment for uh, the recipients of the report. Um, that being said, please forge your thoughts. Uh, the report is due Friday morning. And um, I ask that you provide your, your, you know, any inputs other than what we've already discussed and that will be written up as such by noon tomorrow so that um, you know, the final product can be edited with uh, committee members feedback. And that will conclude our 2020 census Ward 8 redistricting committee efforts. Um, I'll say thank you. And uh, I believe this, this was a fair process. It was definitely open. We had a plan, we executed, and you all are all a part of that success. Um, I've learned a lot and had the opportunity to serve as your chair, and I appreciate your confidence. Um, and if the council member would like to say anything else, um, please do. Otherwise, I think we're going to conclude our sixth and final meeting. Nope, that's it, Chairman. Um, lead us out. I think it's a beautiful closing. No need for me to add anything to it. Thank you. All right. That uh, Mr. Being Chairman. Said, I'm sorry? Mr. Chairman. Yes. Could you at least explain, <coughs> excuse me, next steps for this process? Oh, I'm sorry. That's fair. So uh, next steps is this will be forwarded to the Office of Planning uh, and the Redistricting Subcommittee. Um, there will be two DC Council votes on the comprehensive map. And uh, since we've already voted on this map as a board, this will be one of eight maps considered in totality for a uh, city, citywide ANC redistricting effort. Um, that being said, I don't have those dates, but keep an eye on the redistricting uh, website provided by Councilwoman Silverman. And uh, that information should be updated and posted shortly to uh, follow the council in finalizing this effort um, and inclusive of our output here. All right. Well, thank you all. And uh, I'll see you all at the next ANC meeting or maybe uh, Anacostia River Festival coming up on. Uh, a week from Sunday. Um, take care. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.